husband's home, this witness's home, and we set up between, maybe it was like 8 o'clock at night, and it was cold. So there was 12 of us there, half of the group went inside, but at 9.30, six of us were still outside, and one of the ladies said, oh my God, look up. There was a boomerang-shaped craft, we're guessing maybe about 5,000 feet in the air, so that's, that's really low. It had an orange light on each end of the boomerang and a large red circle light. You know, and I hesitate to say light, but it was just, it was giving off glows. There's two orange glows and a red glow, and we didn't hear a thing. Now, there is no way that this was a plane because we were watching the planes. You can hear the planes from miles away. And planes yeah. typically fly at like 36,000 feet. Wow. This thing was, you know, a little, you know, somewhere between a half mile and a mile away. You couldn't hear it. But we were clearly looking at this object, and we were estimating, after this had gone by, that it was two to three times the size of the 747. I actually have a, 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 a drawing, an illustration that we put up on the MUFON website of what we saw. But... Uh, that night, any doubt I had about this, about UFOs being real, were gone. That is Which riveting. Which was so shocking to me that it shattered my my perception of reality. It, it is. It just sort of smacks you in the face, and it affects you. Something mm-hmm. that you can't forget about. Well, could you tell us about any upcoming symposiums or events that North Carolina is having this year? Sure. Um, we, I tell you that we, uh, in this in the, in the new phone chapter, we organize local meetings. For us, the most important thing is to try to get more people uh, to talk openly about it and just to try to educate people general public um our passion has grown so much in talking to these individuals because it doesn't matter what city we go to there are people there that have had ufo sightings and i mean honestly i have to say i think it it takes a very brave person to come to our meetings who will openly talk about their sightings um so we typically have meetings at, at public libraries. We'll have anywhere from 40 to 60 people show up at our meetings. Now, we may, uh, there's a gentleman named Kent. Oh, God, I forget his last name right now. Who did a symposium in Greensboro last year. Oh, we're getting out of time. Could you tell us your website and how people can report or review? Sure. It, the website for North Carolina is MUFON-NC.com. It's spelled M-U-F-O-N-NC.com. And uh, to report a site, just, there's a link there that says report your site, sighting, or just go to the main website at MUFON.com and click on report your sighting. Well, I want to thank you for being my guest tonight. And to tell everybody, they can go on the Facebook page for Skywatchers Radio Show and find um, the link for MUFON and also uh, your bio for mm-hmm. um, Mr. Carrill. And yeah. also, there'll be pictures and other different links. Yeah, but and, don't uh, be afraid to call in about the UFOs. That's what I wanted to impress. Absolutely. I also wanted to mention that we have a, uh, the next meeting would be in Burlington on the 25th of this month. So if you're near there, please come and visit us. That sounds great. I hope our listeners will, and uh, you're invited to come back and be a guest on our show anytime. Thank you for joining Skywatchers. This is Deborah Jane East signing off.